Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So I got a new fountain pen and I'm really excited about it. So I thought that I would turn on the camera and unbox it with you. So um, the brand of pen that I am unboxing today is the Kobeco or Kobeco brand. Um, it's a German brand and um, they're quite popular. Um, they're kind of known for their pocket size um, or the smaller size fountain pens. Um, they do have ballpoint pens like these and also gel pens but today I picked up the new 2021 spring release. So this is a limited edition color. So every year they kind of come out with some new limited edition colors and this year they came out with a light lilac color and you know me lilac is my favorite color I have it in this mo term I have a lot of my other Oristel planners in the lilac if you know fountain pen brands they don't really do pastel colors not really many pinks or lilacs so when I saw that they were releasing this one, I pre-ordered it. So I pre-ordered it on Wonder Pens and they sent it to me with this little card, which I think is really cute. I also have that fountain pen right there that is a Lamy one from last year's collection. And then I got the pen and then I also ordered the mini converter with it too. So it came today and I'm gonna open it up right now and let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's gorgeous. So it's a very light lilac color. Um, it's actually quite a bit more pigmented than I thought it would be. Um, it's definitely a little bit more pigmented than my Moterm Lychee Lilac. And I think it would probably be more darker than my Oristel Lilac Daydream as well. But I do really enjoy the color. Like I said, Kaveco don't really do these pastel colors, so I'm really excited that they did a lilac one this year. I remember they did do a kind of pastel pink one previously, um, and a lot of people complained about that one because um, it was less pink and more white, so um, I find that this one is a true lilac color. So in comparison, um, I do have another Kabeco fountain pen. So this is the Kabeco Sport in the Macchiato. So that is what that color looks like. And then I also have the Kabeco Sport in the ballpoint pen. So that is a retractable pen and that is in the color mint. So that is what the color looks like in comparison to some of the other pens that I have from this brand. Um, I did get this one in the medium nib. So this one over here, the Macchiato, I did get in the fine. And I do find that the nibs of the Kaveco brand are really, really fine. So I did want something a little bit more broader. So I went up a size. So you can... Uh, possibly see the difference in the nib size. It's not by much, but you can definitely tell when you are writing with it. And then if you are unfamiliar with this pen, it does have a twist on it. So you twist it on and off like this, which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. If you are in a hurry, sometimes it can be a little bit cumbersome to take off, but I do find that it prevents it from leaking and it prevents it from drying out. So that is a good thing about it. So even when you post it like this, it is quite a bit smaller than your regular size pen. So do keep that in mind. It is a plastic body and it does have these kind of flat edges so that it prevents it from rolling, which is a nice touch. So if you want to fill it with ink, um, you do always get a cartridge with it. But I also ordered the mini converter. So this is what the little cartridge looks like. It's always with the blue ink. So what you would do is just put this end in and then pop it in again, and then you're good to go. So that is one way to use it. But if you want to use your own ink, I purchased the mini converter with it. You just kind of pull it like this and it'll fill up. So you can see it's going down now. It kind of looks like a mini syringe in a way. So that is going to be how you fill it. So it just goes up and down like that. Um, I will say that the 
converter is much smaller than the cartridge so you're not going to be able to fill it up with much ink but I find that these guys don't really hold that much ink anyways so that is just something to keep in mind. So it does say Kabitgo here on the side. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to actually fill it up with ink. And the ink that I am going to fill it up with is this one. So it's a magenta ink. Um, I find that this brand of ink tends to dry a little bit more darker. So this magenta color, it's probably going to be a little bit more darker than this color. So what I'm going to do is just grab a little bit of kitchen roll here just so that I don't make a mess of things and we are actually going to ink this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the converter here and I'm going to put it into this guy, the base. It'll pop right in like that. You may have to push a little bit harder, it just depends. And then I'm going to open up my ink. And I have used this already, so it's getting a little bit low. But all I'm going to do is just put the pen in there and then pull up some of the ink. So as you can see there, it has pulled up all the way up to there. So as you can see, I do have it filled up now with the ink. So now all I'm gonna do is just close this again. I don't wanna spill it. And on the kitchen roll here, I am just going to get rid of the excess on the side. So I'm just gonna grab my Hobonichi and let's test it. As you can see, it writes right away. So that is great. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cute. And I'm really happy that Kaveco decided to do a pastel tone. And the box is not the usual black. This time it matches the actual body of the pen, which is kind of cool. So that is my video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed my little unboxing and kind of review of this little new pen. Um, if you guys have any questions about fountain pens, do let me know them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them. And also if you guys are interested in purchasing any of my inserts from my shop, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.